How does pain affect your life? Before you reach for another pill, listen up. The way you treat your pain often determines how you cope with it and how you heal. Whether you have back, joint, or inflammatory pain, help is on the way. Because today, I'm giving you the no pill pain busters for your biggest complaints. I have the three newest, most effective solutions. I've got a laser, an electro, and dietary changes, all to heal you without medication. What do a gadget guru, a nutritionist, and a chiropractor have in common? The solutions to your pain. If you've been suffering back aches, neck aches, headaches, you know how debilitating it can be. But these experts can help you find relief right now. Steven Shoshani is a top chiropractor in New York City. He's been treating patients for over 16 years. Think all I do is adjustments all day? Think again. I have the newest and most effective treatment to zap away your pain. Ashley Koff is an internationally known nutrition expert. I'm the faculty at the Center for Health and Healing at the Beth Israel Medical Center in New York. I'm going to show you how to feel relief with the foods at your local supermarket. Finally, meet technology guru Mario Armstrong, testing the latest products from the top tech companies around the globe. Texnet? Blackberry thumb? Computer carpal tunnel? I know those pains, and I know it can keep you from living life. But I also know which gadget can give you the best treatment at home. Want relief? No doctors needed. These experts have your no pill pain busters. It's one of the most common and debilitating pains. 70% of you will experience it in your lifetime. I'm talking about neck pain. And it comes for many reasons. I built this high-tech model to bring this to life, but sometimes you sleep wrong. A little odd position, you might not even notice it. It'll start to weigh you down. Or you're working at your computer. When you stare at it for long periods of time, you forget what you're doing to your muscles, and it begins to weigh you down even more. And then, of course, there's texting and all the other fun things we do on our smartphones, and that will weigh you down a little bit more. And the coup de grace, the biggest culprit of all, the one that really causes the biggest issues for us, is stress. And when you add stress to the equation, you literally break it off. You feel like you've been hit by a ton of bricks, and that pain is not easy to get rid of. But that, my friends, ends today. Stephen Shoshani is joining us. He's a chiropractor, and he has the no-pill pain buster for your neck. It's a very cool procedure. It's called cold therapy. He's here with his patient, Kelly. Welcome to the Thank show, you. Kelly. Stephen, how are you? Great. So I'd love to learn more about this cold therapy. This is something that I had not heard of before the show. So what is it exactly? Cold laser therapy is a low-level laser therapy that reduces pain and inflammation and decreases the dependent the need to take pain medication. The laser we shine on an injured area, and what it does, it improves blood flow to the area, decreases the pain, inflammation, increases the muscle elasticity, and improves the, the overall pain response. Now, you're a chiropractor. Most of the time, I, I think of chiropractors as doing manipulations. Why would you use a, a laser in your practice? We still adjust and treat our patients, but I'm always looking for new and innovative ways to have patients avoid taking pain medication. So tools like this help me get my patients better faster. Would you mind positioning this? Absolutely. And Kelly, while he's doing that, describe your, your condition a little bit. Uh, again, we almost all have it. So yeah. what brings on your back pain? Um, bad sleeping, um, bad daily practice posture, working physically too hard. Let me overtime. turn you this way a little bit just to get a better shot for everybody there. Okay. So classic reasons for the pain. And Steve, you're just putting these lights at a few inches distance from Kelly's neck. Yeah, the, the light is going to penetrate through the skin. It's going to get absorbed by the areas that need the laser light. And the laser light is going to help, again, like I said, promote tissue healing, improving the blood flow to the area. Do you feel this at all? Nothing. And, and what kinds of neck pain does it work for best? All neck pains, Dr. Oz. Uh, people that have arthritic neck pain, people that have disc herniations, uh, radiating pain, like carpal tunnel syndrome, stiff necks, like when you wake up in the morning, you can't turn your neck toward a collis. It works great on most all neck cases. And let me be quiet to show you. I mean, if, she, if Kelly was in your office right now, what exactly would you do? Yeah. Well, what she'd be doing is first I'd leave it on, and then I'd have her go through some ranges of motion really slow. So turn your head slowly to the right. We're, we're doing this to increase surface area, so we're affecting the traps, the scalenes, all the different muscle groups in and around. So she'd be here for about five to ten minutes going through this range of motion after we did our treatment. Any side effects related to it? No side should, effects. You should have asked that earlier, I guess, yeah. before you had this done. <laughs> no side effects, super, super safe. And you said only five to ten minutes? Five to ten minutes. And how often do you have to have it done? Three to five times you should definitely see some results. Some patients see results within the first treatment. 
while you sit there and relax, I'm going to show you what I think is going on with the, the cold laser therapy. So I, I built you a model uh, of what your neck, or frankly, any part of your spine might look like. And neck problems typically happen not because you've got issues with the discs in here. These are the bones again. These discs are often pretty solid. But you'll get inflammation represented by these little green balloons. And they can happen again because you slept wrong, because you're in weird positions. Surgeons get this because we're over your bodies like this all day long with our the arms hunched up under a lot of tension trying to make sure we don't do anything wrong. And that causes irritation of these joints. So once it's happened, this inflammation starts to fill in the spaces and we can't move anymore. Our whole neck becomes rigid. You've all lived through this in your own lives. Now, for whatever reasons, you've brought this upon yourselves. So what this therapy does, you think of most lasers as zapping things, uh, but this doesn't do that. This actually, in a very gentle way, changes the inflammation. You're always going to have a little bit of this going on, but it's those big, massive boluses of inflammation caused by some weird thing you did that mess you up. And when we aim this and change it over five minutes, as Dr. Shani said, you'll be able to dramatically affect the amount of inflammation. And as that inflammation goes down and it shrinks and shrivels, something much less of a problem for you, guess what? You begin to start to be able to bend again. Now your neck will turn. And now that your neck turns, you'll be able to, once that discomfort's gone, stay limber and stay loose. So this is the whole purpose of cold therapy. So Dr. Shoshana, what is the classic kind of result you might anticipate? So Kelly's had this neck pain, and I'll just speak for you. Let's say you've had it for a week or two, and it's been an irritant, you've been taking over-the-counter pills, which is part of the reason we're doing the show today, is not to have people reach for a pill reflexively, because we don't have to do that. How impactful can this be? Well, definitely a better range of motion, uh, decreased dependency on pain medication, and it actually improves the tissue quality. So the range of motion can improve, and also the radiating pain that patients may experience goes away. Mm -hmm. So range of motion improvement and overall cell repair. So tissue gets better. There's a best, better quality to the tissue. How's your neck feeling now, Kelly? Um, there's not an immediate change. It usually happens within a couple hours. Um, in the, the next day, in mm -hmm. the morning, I'll feel a tremendous difference, a lot more mobility. Um, this is actually my fourth time. Oh, so good. I don't wake up with the pain, which is really nice. And I don't want to take drugs every day. Before you had this uh, cold laser therapy, would that be your first response to reach in the medicine cabinet? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it changes your day when you're in pain every day. How, how many yeah. of you, let me ask the audience, how many of you, you know, within 20 minutes of having a pain, might go reach in the medicine cabinet for something? Let me see your hands up there. It's a good part of the audience. How many of you within an hour would reach for something? It's a good part of the yeah. You know, I got to say, I, I think we ought to be changing that basic paradigm uh, and with pain. We have so many folks who have chronic pain in this country, and I, you know, I know you know this because you're all feeling this and it dominates your life, that I think we ought to be nudging towards non-pill therapies, which is, again, why we're focused on this today. Uh, where can folks find this therapy? Well, most progressive chiropractors offer cholesterol therapy, and some physical therapists offer it. Uh, some doctors are even bring it to their practice because the results are so promising. But if it's available at that many places, and these are, again, experts in joint pain in particular, it's something we ought to be taking advantage of. Thank you for sharing it. Kelly, good luck with your therapies. Did you know certain foods can help heal your back aches, your headaches, and your joint pains? Well, I have got the No Pain Diet. Registered dietitian Ashley Kopp is here to share her food prescription. And Ashley, let's just get to the root of this issue, because yeah. a lot of folks would never believe that food could be used like a medication for pain. But there's a ton of science behind this. Yeah, and, you know, before there were medications, there was food. Yes. So we've had these treatments for forever, and really, actually, I think the medications have come from what we know about food. So, you know, if we look over here and we talk about joint pain and we talk about cherries, cherries function like aspirin or medication. So if you don't want the extra cost, maybe the bother, um, maybe you're worried about side effects, about running into the cabinet to go take the medication, you can eat cherries. And cherries have phytonutrients, the so plant nutrients, and it's actually locked in with their dark color, so the darker the better, the anthocyanins. Um, and they work just the way that aspirin does or other even more potent anti-inflammatories that may have side effects. So these are going to go right in there and help your joint pain. Now, since they're like medications, we need a dose for them. How much do you need? Yes, exactly. You get 20 of these wonderful ones a day. And you can get them frozen is phenomenal. So mm -hmm. I know fresh cherries aren't always available. Um, I buy them frozen organic because it's really inexpensive. They're mm -hmm. always available. You can toss them into a smoothie. If you want to do the juice, I know we're hearing about cherry juice today and we have it in the past. 
Um, you can make sure you keep the portion size smaller, but remember the juice is going to really be concentrated and you've got that issue of the sugar, the fructose, that sort of the thing. The frozen organics are a smart idea. Great okay. option. Headaches. Yeah. Yes. What do we target headaches with? Yeah, so targeting headaches, so headaches, remember, is really that contraction issue. So what we're looking for is Mother Nature's muscle relaxant. And what we have here is tahini, which is crushed up sesame seeds. And sesame seeds, uh, tahini in particular, really rich source of magnesium. So what it's going to do is it's going to have a dual action. It actually works on the muscle spasms and at the same time also the brain chemistry. And what we found in people that... Um, do that tend towards headaches and even as severe as migraines is actually that about up to 50% of them are deficient in magnesium. So this is really a great one to hit. Um, you can certainly, you can find it in the, you know, nut butter section at the grocery right. store, put it on a piece of toast, um, or, you know, I like to do the combo. So pass me, pass me I, yeah, grab a cherry. Is, if you have yeah. joint pain and a headache because of it. Yes. This is what you do. Or if your joint pain gives somebody else a headache, maybe oh, you serve oh, oh, oh. this. You know, it's fine. <laughs> What's it's the dose? Really good, right? It's really good. Oh, be careful. So we do have the fat content here. So here we're careful about the sugar. Here we're careful about the fat content. About two tablespoons a day. So a jar is also going to really last you, so it makes it cost effective as well. Perfect. And back pain, we talked about it already earlier in the show. It's such a common issue. It's why we miss work. Yeah. What's the best food for that? Yeah, and back pain, it's really interesting. You know, throughout um, in the medical community, we see today so many dietary supplements that have papaya enzyme in them. Mm -hmm. It's called papain um, because it really, really works. So this is something that is medicinal. But the issue is, is that if you eat it, see this flesh, that bright color, your vitamins A and C, um, Mother Nature is telling us that that flesh, that color, is going to work really intensely on your back pain. So those antioxidants going to go in, shut down inflammation, um, reduce oxidative stress. And one of the things that's really beneficial about all of these foods is instead of potential side effects of the medication, what you're actually seeing is the side benefits that you get right. from, you know, you know, all these colors being great for your heart health, for your body overall, skin, everything. And, and how much of a papaya do you need? About a cup. And, you know, papaya is a tough one, a cup or the size of your fist, um, uh, if it's an average size fist. Um, <laughs> but the other issue here is, uh, you know, we did show also the frozen organic as an option because papaya just isn't available for everyone all year round. Yeah, I love the concept that there, these are side benefits, not side effects. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, again, it's like when, you know, in this day, I have a lot of people say I really need to be cost efficient. You've got that whole idea here where what you can do is say my food is my medicine. So I don't right. have to then, you know, I can buy better quality food and not have to do uh, buy the additional medicine or supplements. Thank you very much. All Thanks right, coming up, me. grab a, a, some water, just a little bit of water and a piece of paper. I'm going to show you how these two items can tell you what foot type you are and why that matters. That's coming up.